Hello dear friends, this is Ewell Humphreys. Thank you for tuning in on me. I pray God this blessing will come to you and the message that I bring that goes out all over the world. Amen. I want to speak to you on the fact that you are a light in a dark world. I'm speaking to you Christians that believe in Jesus Christ. You are a light in a dark world. And you need to know that. The Bible says over in Isaiah the 6th chapter, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord upon his throne, high and lifted up. In the year that King Uzziah died, Isaiah the prophet saw the Lord. Now he had no doubt was very close to the king and was one of the king's favorites and he loved the king and, and uh, the king loved Isaiah uh, apparently. And uh, he really missed him. He really was sad to hear that King Uzziah died. And he went to the temple to pray with a broken heart. And he said, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and lifted up. Sometimes, dear friends, we see the Lord more plainly in our hour of grief and sorrow. Sometimes our heart's broken. We come to the ways of God in the house of the Lord or wherever we are and we look to Him and we see the Lord high and lifted up and we find that He's there. Someone has said that the stars shine brighter and the darker the night. And sometimes the darker the experience you go through, the brighter the precious Lord will shine for you. But you are important to the Lord. You are a light in this world. A light in this world and you need to know that. Over in the book of Psalms, in the 40th Psalms, it says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and He inclined unto me. He heard my prayer, my cry. He will hear your prayer. Turn to Him right now and pray. Say, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. I have to say it often. Lord God, help me. Lord Jesus, help me. Holy God, help me. And the Holy God will bless. And so it is in the word of the Lord. And he heard my cry, and he lifted me out of, a, of the miry clay. And he set me upon a rock and established my goings. And the Lord God will lift you up, and he will lift you out of that miry clay that you're in right now. He's got some good things for you. He's got a better way for you to walk. He's got a better place for you to abide. He's got a better job for you to do right now. And that's look to him, pray to him, and believe in him. And you're the light of the world. The Bible says that he, uh, that he will, he will lift you up, and he many will, many will hear because he's given you a new song, and uh, many will hear and turn to the Lord. And so we need to learn. God gives us a song in the night. Oh, he gives us a song in the night. I want you to know that, believe that, and and trust the Lord. You're the light of the world. A light. A light is important, very important. Oh, it's so important. The other night I was in I was in bed and I started to get up to go to the kitchen for something and I didn't turn the light on and I stumbled over some things in the floor and just like to fail and finally got to the switch where I turned the light on. So it is with our spiritual life, dear friend. We need the light. We live in a dark world and we're gonna stumble and fall over things in this old world because it's dark and sinful. And we need the light of the Lord. We need the light of God. And then we find that we become lights in the world. He puts a light in us and we can shine for Him. And we need to do that. We need to do it because He loves us. He cares for us. And He's never going to leave us. The Bible says over in Matthew, uh, Matthew the 5th chapter in the words of Jesus, he said, Now uh, you are the light of the world. A city that sit on a hill can't be hid. You can't hide a city that sit on a hill. No, no. Because it's light. It's light. And praise the Lord, the light shines. The light shines. I was at a revival meeting some uh, years ago down in a place called Velasco, Texas, where they have the Dow Chemical Company. And uh, I understand it's still there. But anyway, I, I drove in at night. And I looked over there, and it looked like for blocks and blocks and blocks, it looked like a half a mile every way, there was lights shining. And it looked like a city. It looked like a small city over there. And I said, my, 
this is, this is a this is a pretty good sized town. And the next morning I drove out and, and it was a Dow Chemical Company. <laughs> and it was a large, large edifice all over our buildings up all up and down the streets. And uh, someone said that they paid a man a, a really fabulous amount of money to come down and show them how to put those lights in there to shine at night and it made it look like it was a small city. Oh, I tell you what, you're the light of the world. You can brighten up and light up a dark world and make it shine for the Lord. Jesus said this, a man does not light a candle and put it under a bed, but he puts it on a candlestick that it may give light to the all that are in the house. So let your light shine that your Father may be glorified in heaven. How do you let your light shine? You let it shine by loving God. And you let it shine by loving others. By caring for people. By trying to help. You don't have to move on a mountain. You can just help in anything. You can say a kind word to somebody. You can speak an encouraging word to somebody that's in, in trouble and depressed. And it'll lift them up. You can pray for somebody. You can pray and God will hear and bless that person. You can do little things, but they are really big things in the sight of God. Let your light shine. Go to find your good church and worship God. Let your light shine. Oh, learn to thank God for everything. Be thankful, and that's letting your light shine. Read your Bible. Read it every day, just a few verses, but read your Bible. It's God's love letter. It's God's word to you, and it's a word that will never fail. And so we need to see that when we read the Word, it's light. And the Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my way. And so we see how important it is that we walk by faith, that we trust in God, that we love the Lord, and that we let our light shine. Let our light shine. Oh, praise the Lord. Years ago, I was I attended a Billy Graham crusade and in the city where it was in a football stadium. And there were some sixty to seventy thousand people in the stands. And it was at night, and Billy Graham had already uh, uh, arranged for this thing to happen. And he said, "Now, I'm a, when when you went in at the, the gate, they gave you a little small book of matches. Everybody got a little small book of matches." And he said, "That right we were in, and all the lights were burning, you know, around the stadium." And then Billy Graham said, "Now I'm going to ask everybody. I'm going to ask the people to turn out the lights." All of a sudden, all the lights went out, and it was dark. You couldn't hardly see, but, but just the people sitting right close to you. It was dark all over that stadium. Billy Graham said, now I want you to take that little match that, they, that you was given to you and strike it, just one match, and I want you to hold it up like that. Everybody struck a match and held it up, and it was amazing. I had lighted up that whole stadium. Just one little match in my hand, but there were 60,000 of them lit at the same time, and it lighted up that whole stadium. And he went on and preached on the fact that Jesus is the light of the world. Oh, and he went on to say, you're just a little light, but if you lift your light up, and others, others lift their lights up, if we can all do it together, we'll have a light, we'll have a light, and then we'll have a revival. I'm asking you Christians that listen to these messages to lift up that light and let it shine. Oh, shine with me. And we'll light up a dark world together because we're lifting up our light and letting it shine for the Lord. Amen. Amen. You're the light of the world. God loves you. You need to pray and ask the Lord to save you if you're not saved. And say, Dear Lord, forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe He died for me. I believe He paid for all my sins, and I believe He rose again. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus, and help me live for You. Amen. Pray a prayer like that. Oh, pray a prayer, something like that, and you will know that you're saved forever, saved from hell, and oh, that you have a home in heaven. You've got a home in heaven. Hallelujah. And then you need to find your good church and worship the Lord. Oh, praise God for you Christians. You're the light of the world. You need to shine for Jesus. You need to shine for Jesus. Oh, praise God. The whole world was lost in the darkness of sin. 
The light of the world is Jesus. Like no more sunshine at noonday, His glory shone in. The light of the world is Jesus. Come to the light, it shines for thee. Oh, how sweetly that light has dawned upon me. Once I was lost, now I can see. The light of the world is Jesus. Oh, no light they are told in the city above. The light of the world is Jesus. For the Lamb is the light in the city of gold. The light of the world is Jesus. Come to the light, it shines for thee. How sweetly that light has dawned upon me. Once I was lost, but now I can see. Oh, the light of the world is Jesus. <laughs> Praise God. May He be your light, and may you learn to shine for Him, because truly, my dear friend, you are the light of this old dark world. Amen, amen, and amen.